New at 6, our continuing series of special reports leading up to the general election. And tonight, we take a closer look at the Broward Sheriff's race between the current sheriff and his Republican opponent, who says he's qualified despite having no law enforcement experience. CBS 4's Ted Scouten reports. Uh, we're here to repair the damage and rebuild the trust. We're here to earn every vote one person at a time. Wayne Clark is hoping to be Broward's next sheriff. Before a Republican running in a Democrat-dominated county, it's a tough fight. Maybe I'm being overconfident, right? I can tell you I have gotten so much support from the Democrats, it's overwhelming. Clark has no law enforcement experience. He sees that as a plus. He's ex-military, a businessman, and lawyer. He wants to use those skills to head the agency of 5,700 employees. Look, BSO is not a police department. It should be run as a, as a business organization, right? Because it's way more than the police department. It's, it's the jails, the airport, the seaport, law enforcement, fire, EMS, communication, mental health. So you've got to run all those components to make it effective and efficient. Clark said he'll surround himself with highly qualified career law officers, allowing him to lead the agency. No justice, no peace. In response to summer protests over allegations of police bias, Clark wants to build relationships with the public and have deputies live locally and visibly in the communities they serve. I can tell you an overwhelming majority of people that I speak to like the fact that I don't have that law enforcement background because they know I can come in with their eyes and see how to fix things. We, we have to build a relationship between the community and BSO. We're not doing that. Current Sheriff Gregory Tony is the Democrat in the race. He was appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis when Scott Israel was removed after the Parkland massacre. Tony points out that under his watch, BSO has upped their training, beefed up professional standards committee, and is working to stem racial bias. We launched a social justice task force, a 21-member social justice task force to include Black Lives Matter. These are things that the country is crying for, but here at BSO, we've already done. During his time in office, Tony has faced highly charged incidents that were captured on camera. We were very fortunate to have our own test early. We had several different cases of excessive force uh, related to a young black man face being slammed into the ground, to law enforcement officers striking individuals in handcuffs in the hospitals. And these were challenges that we accepted and took a very aggressive action in terms of uh, suspension and even up to termination. One of BSO's unions issued a no confidence vote against Tony like it had against his predecessor. The moment I won uh, the primary and had the trust of uh, the Democratic Party was to call our union presidents in and say, hey, enough is enough. We have to move this agency forward. For the first time, this agency is being led by 500 years of institutional knowledge and experience. I promote it only from within. Now both men making their final pitch as voting is already underway. I am currently the sheriff of this county. There's roughly 2 million people relying on me to be focused to do my job. And if I'm doing my job, then that is my campaign slogan. We're going to have a top-notch command staff. We're going to also have uh, the men and women on the ground knowing that we have their back every day. Do your homework. Find out more information about the people who are running for Broward County Sheriff. We can help you at our website, cbsmiami.com slash campaign 2020. We have lots of information and resources for you right there. FPSO headquarters, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.